So today I'm going to make something out of a pantyhose and some cornstarch and a piece of random material. I don't know if you have any idea what I'm talking about. Actually, I'm going to make my own embossing buddy. Um, an embossing buddy is a, a like usually a sack, uh, a fabric sack full of something that's going to help anti-static when you go to emboss and you put it, you rub it across the paper before you emboss and so that when you emboss and stamp and then put your embossing powder on, the static doesn't make the embossing powder stick to places you don't want it to because you want it to only go on the ink or the embossing you know, medium. So you don't want it to be all over your page so that when you actually heat set it, it all of a sudden these little spots pop up around where you uh, embossed that you didn't want there. So this kind of will prevent that um, from happening. And all you need to do is get yourself a stocking and just some regular old cornstarch that costs like a buck. And I'm going to open the bag and I forgot my spoon so oh no I didn't I got it never mind what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this stocking with a couple of spoonfuls it's hard to do by yourself but I'll figure it out <laughs> I'll probably make a giant mess but if I do it slowly maybe I won't you're just gonna fill it up um, there's no like real exact measurement I mean I'm just putting a few tablespoons in you're just going to fill it up to whatever you feel, giving you enough room to tie the um, stocking and whatnot. And I think maybe one more. I don't know. I don't know. That looks like about a good amount. See? And I'd say use it like this, but it really drips through the stocking. This is just one layer to kind of hold it, so you don't want it to be coming out like a snowstorm. <laughs> you know, you don't want it like all over the place. So this is just one layer. And then, which I probably didn't tie that quite tight enough, but that's fine. It's going to do. It really is. It's not going to be anything crazy. And then you put it in the center of your material with the little part that you tied sitting up and then what you're gonna do is take your material bunch it up because you don't need to do any kind of gluing or sewing or anything because if this is just for your home use you don't need to worry about it you know it doesn't have to be beautiful and perfect and fantastic it just has to be you know workable. It has to be functional. That's the word I'm looking for. Not workable. Functional. And that's what this will be. If you really must dress it up, sure you can. I'm sure you can, but I'm not worried about it because, it, like I said, it's just for me. It's for my own use. You know, I have yellow material with a, I mean, pink material with a yellow rubber band, but you know how much I care? I don't. I'm just going to chop off a little bit of this at the top and throw this away and I, I can see it's coming out a little bit that's all you want is for it to come out just a little bit let me grab some of that black paper because you'll be able to see it on there sorry I had to walk away a second let me get the black paper so that you can see that it does come out a little bit and whatever you know when you're done embossing you know or after you know you can wipe it away if it comes out too much but you work it a little bit and see how, I don't know if you could see, but it's starting to, and that's the perfect amount because that's all you need. And then when you're done, you know, embossing, or you can even blow it a little bit, you know, just give it a blow, but that didn't sound right. <laughs> but you see what I mean? Like it's the perfect, and then you can kind of just wipe it around and you don't even see it on there anymore, but that's going to resist the static that you're going to get. Um, and you might see some things flying around the camera lens there because the puffy stuff went and flew through the air from the cornstarch starch. The cornstarch was flying through the air. I meant, I don't know what the heck I was saying. I'm losing my train of thought. But anyway, yeah, so that's how you make an embossing buddy. This will help keep the static cling away from your embossing project so that you only emboss what you want to emboss and not end up with 
a mess around your projects when you're trying to keep everything nice and crisp and clean and clear lines and all that stuff. So make yourself one. It's a quick tip. And uh, thanks. Do what you love. Love what you do. See you later.